Good evening, friends. I hope you're all doing well. I'm also fine today. I'm going to show you how you can install Google. It's an open source ERP system in the universe. So let's get started. First, let's see what is Google. Google. So Google is an open source uh, ERP and uh, CRM system. So as you can see, it has a lot of uh, modules. We are module based, and you can you can turn it on and turn it off based on your requirement. Like it has accounting, it has CRM, it has timesheets, projects, documents, discussion settings, websites, pictures, a lot of things are there. You can install them, or you can turn it on, turn it on based on your business environment. For example, you want to run a restaurant, so they have a point in part of sales service. Also, then there are some modules available for this okay. This is Udo, and I'm going to install the group. Let's start it. We can launch instance. It is available with an AMI, switch for browser and AMIs, and then marketplace AMI. Mm -hmm. You can search for the first one is Bitnami, and that's the one that we are going to choose. Bitnami is powered by VMware, so it is trusted, and you can use Bitnami AMI, and it has it's very reliable and secure. So click here on the select button and then uh, you can subscribe. If you are subscribing for the first time, it might take some time, but later on, it's just uh, instantly shows here. Give it a name. Then we are going to uh, choose an instance family. I'm going to choose two, three medium. Use a key pair. I already had a key pair. If you don't have any key pair, then just click create new and uh, create a new key pair. So, uh, for network settings, uh, you can use their suggested uh, network settings, or if you have already created some uh, security groups, you can use those. I'm going to use their suggested ones. So, they are suggesting allow SSH from everywhere, HTTP, and HTTP. That's it. Click on advance, and here you can keep everything as default. I'm just going to choose instance profile where I have already created some instance profiles, and I'm going to choose. Okay, that's it. Let's launch. So I'm going to launch the instance. It might take around uh, two to three minutes based on. Let's see. Right. So this is the instance. This is the public IP. I'm going to copy the public IP. So I'm going to uh, point a subdomain to the public IP so that I can access the Udo using the subdomain. So let's create a subdomain. Udo, and then the IP, and save it. So I'm going to create a subdomain and then point it to the subdomain to the Udo instance. So I will access the Instance using voodoo.article.xyz. Something like Because my instance is not ready yet, so it will uh, take some time. Launch it only. It will be accessible. And if you are using it for a production level, then always assign an elastic IP. Don't use this random IP because if you stop the instance, then this IP will be renewed to a new one. So if you wanted to keep a persistent IP address, then use elastic IP. So elastic IP stays uh, unlimited time, even though if you keep the instance, the elastic IP will stay. So it's your kind of like own IP addresses. Okay. So uh, let's see what is the status of our instance. Still initializing, that means the software that is used to uh, run Udo is they are doing their setup, initial configurations, and all those things. 
let's copy the IP address and uh, we are going to connect that uh, instance from our tablet. File systems, and here we have uh, uh, files. I already downloaded the PM file here, and then we can connect the instance which is SSH, H5, to do the PIM, and then uh, the user will be Bitnami. So this is the uh, Vietnam server, and we are connected to this server. So let's make uh, let's see if your student is everything is open up. Yeah, it's everything is open. Okay. Then uh, we need the username and password, right? So um, this is implemented here. Into the big Navy official documentation, you can see how to get uh, username and password. So here's the command. The command is sudo cat and then we can we can get this right. Um, just copy the command and run it here. So sudo where the name the name credentials, right? So uh, the user is user at example dot com and the password is is the password. So we can copy the password. We can we can do that later. The next thing is we need to set up an SSL, right? So we just cannot browse the site with uh, notice what and that percent is necessary. So click here and in the administration, and here you can see auto configure and that's in the site. Yeah. So here it says that if you run this command, so do OTP become uh, become start to it should automatically set up a certificate. So some certificate for you using um let's end it. Now second. Let's run it. We need to uh tell that what is our subdomain name is so how to do that extra. Following domains are not included with WW. Do you want to add them? I don't want WW. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 HTTP to HTTPS. Yes, I want to have HTTP redirected to HTTPS. Looks good. Email address. Email and the Yeah, we agree. To the transmitting or agreements, there's no choice. We have to agree about the things. So, uh, it's trying to set up the SSL certificate in the server, and uh, it's checking whether the domain is actually pointing to the correct server or not. So there is the part one, and after that, we will set up the SSL certificate, right. So the certificate is successfully completed. Enter. So Internet. Sometimes it takes some time. Sure, what is going on here? Maybe internet issue. Pressing enter button, but it's not working. But let's see. So uh, let's try to visit our subdomain. Okay, our certificate setup is done. Click here. Um, connection is secure. Certificate is valid. 
this is our certificate. Eventually, it will issue from Saturday, October 26th. That's it. So, everything is fine. I'm just curious what's happening here. Maybe the server is too busy. Yeah, now it's okay. So, now you see it's showing the terminal. That's good. Now, previously, we uh, got the username and password. That we are going to use it to log in. The password is copied. So uh, that's it. This is this is our Ubuntu setup. So we are running Ubuntu now from EC2 server. And as we said, uh, as I said before, we can like activate a lot of uh, modules like CRM. We can activate. We can activate. Uh, oops, CRM. Let's. We can activate uh, inventory as well. So this um, and yeah, here is the restaurant module. So if you have any restaurants, you can you will do you know, kind of like serve your restaurant. So uh, the setup is done. Let's see. This is the in kind of like messaging system of the group. PRM, that's the same. So we have uh, new generate leads, all those things are happening. So that's it. I hope it will help you to set up Udo on your own server and set up the same thing. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share it with friends. Thank you everyone. Love us.